Calisthenic skill training is like learning a new language. To truly learn and master it, you have to immerse yourself in its study and practice. With that, I will explain how to effectively train calisthenic skills by going over what to do at the gym, outside the gym, and how to maintain a skill once you've got it. Let's begin. While at the gym or wherever you train, find a way to best incorporate your skill of choice into your training sessions. For example, I'm currently training the front lever, and because of this, I have been incorporating the tuck front lever raises and upside down deadlifts into my training sessions. And I would recommend for you to incorporate at least one exercise that trains your skill into all of your training sessions, even if you're training completely different muscles on that day. Because the more consistent you are with your training, the faster you will learn the skill. Speaking of consistency, one of the best ways to train calisthenic skills outside the gym is by greasing the groove. To simplify, greasing the groove is when you attempt your skill every 30 minutes or hour throughout the day. You know what time it is. This method is quite effective because it allows you to practice your skill multiple times a day while giving you plenty of time to rest. Also, if you can't grease the groove with your skill, because you're lacking proper equipment, for example, don't be afraid to grease the groove with another skill. And this is a perfect moment to mention that it is okay to practice multiple skills at a time, but I would not recommend going over three skills, because if you do, your focus will be all over the place and it will take you much longer to master your skills. Surprisingly, it is quite simple to maintain your skills once you have achieved them. And there are multiple ways of maintaining them, each varying in duration and volume. But that said, my favorite way of maintaining my skills is to maintain them before my workouts. Basically, after warming up, I practice my skills one to three times. I pick this time frame because I'm already warm for my warm up, and practicing my skills just warms me up even more for my workouts. Also, I would recommend maintaining your skills three to five times a week. Congratulations, now you know how to effectively train calisthenic skills. And always remember, quality over quantity, because at the end of the day, the only person you're robbing of gains is yourself. Thank you for watching.